All right, hopefully out of two, this little presentation on uh, DIS and coil unplug is a little more straightforward and not too many mistakes as before. Um, so DIS, which is distributed ignition system, some uh, companies will call it direct ignition system, or waste spark. And again, the reason why it's called waste spark is because we've got a spark occurring on the exhaust stroke in a cylinder for no useful purpose other than it's easier to wire up that way. So we're going to use multiple coils. We're going to use engine sensors and a computer to fire the spark plugs. Each coil is going to fire two cylinders. Um, so like it says there, one coil fires two cylinders, uh, one on the compression stroke, one on the exhaust. So here is a uh, Ford um, Ranger or Mazda B2300 coil pack. This is one coil here. This is one coil here. This one fires these two cylinders. This one fires these two cylinders. Here's a General Motors six-cylinder. DIS coil pack, this coil firing number three and six, this one two and five, and this one one and four. Okay, um, here's one that's kind of interesting. This one looks like a coil on plug coil, but it's actually a DIS because it has one coil that's going to fire, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, going to fire one spark plug through this guy and a spark plug wire that's going to fire another one. So even though this looks like a coil on plug, um, it really is um, a DIS coil that fires two cylinders. Okay. All right, excuse me. Um, so this coil pack here is two coils firing four cylinders at the, um, there. So the way this works is the crankshaft and camshaft position sensors are going to work in conjunction with the computer. The crankshaft sensor is really the one that's the switching, or sorry, the triggering device for the transistor in the computer um, to energize the base so that it turns on and off the coil primary circuit. The coil unit see, uh, sequences coils firing two plugs at a time, just like we've been talking about. And a computer signals the control unit when to fire, so it controls uh, which coil fires and when it fires. So now you're looking at, um, on this guy, you've got an ignition module um, down here, okay? And you have two coils. This one's firing these two uh, plugs. This one's firing these two plugs. You'll notice the arrows. This one's firing from center terminal to side. This one's firing from side terminal to center. You, in this case, we have a crankshaft position sensor, again, which is a, usually a magnetic uh, pickup. It could be a Hall effect, but usually we've got these prongs coming by and disrupting the magnetism and energizing the base um, that and is inside the is either inside the, the module down here or inside a module inside the PCM. Camshaft position sensors is usually going to be used to sequence the fuel injection, but some do use it in the ignition system, I'm, I'm led to believe. But we've got all these sensors over here, knock sensor, we call it detonation sensor, coolant temp, inlet air temp, throttle position, vacuum, or load sensor of some sort, um, EGR, etc. But we've got all kinds of sensors feeding information to the computer. The computer decides at what point in terms of degrees before top dead center that we're going to actually fire that spark plug. Um, so the computer's job is to help us know which coil to fire and exactly when to fire it. The faster the engine spins, the earlier we're going to start that spark. Crank sensor, here's a picture of a crank sensor. Again, just a little magnetic pickup. And these little slots will disrupt the magnetism in here and send a signal to uh, the computer. This trigger wheel can be used for several things to tell the computer where the crankshaft is and also the rate at which it's spinning by that sensor. So a distributed ignition system says two coils are needed for a four-cylinder engine, so we got two ignition coils for these four cylinders. All right. So here's direct ignition. Um, uh, direct ignition, or COP, um, which stands for coil overplug or coil on plug, means we have an individual coil that's going to sit right on top of um, each spark plug. The spark plug would be right down here. And... Um, there's no spark plug wire. Um, plugs are going to fire at the end of the compression stroke, so a little bit before top dead center on the end of the compression stroke. And in this one, we don't fire on the exhaust stroke uh, because we're just using one individual coil per cylinder. They're very small. 
Um, they can be eighty to one hundred dollars retail um, to replace. They do go bad when we don't change our plugs and the gap gets too wide, and the coils to work too hard, and then they go bad. So um, this coil on plug for this Honda, you can see there's one, two, three coils going right down through the top of the valve cover to the spark plugs, and it just says four coils are needed for a four-cylinder engine, and they're just showing them snapping right down onto the spark plugs. Nothing fancy there. Um, we use a knock sensor with this system, which is a PZO electric crystal. This is a General Motors style. This would be uh, Subaru and lots of other cars. But it detects knocking, and it vibrates the crystal, and that crystal is a voltage generator, and the computer sees that voltage and actually backs the timing back. We call it retarding the timing, making the retarding the timing occur later. It may even come after top dead center to um, reduce engine knock possible anyways. Computer uses feedback from the sensor to retard ignition timing, which I was just saying. Um, if you're going down the road and your freeway speeds and probably the timings are roughly 50 degrees and it backs it down maybe to 40 degrees, it's not going to make it uh, after top dead center, but it reduces when the spark occurs until the knock goes away. Um, engine knock can be caused by a lot of things, too low octane of fuel. Um, most cars should be running 89, you're running 87, it's kind of hot out, we get a little detonation, or we have a little bit of carbon on top of the pistons, uh, increasing the compression ratio, or maybe get a little spot of carbon glowing that causes a uh, engine knock, etc. And there's different types of detonation, but we'll talk about it another time. And that's it.